there is no doubt. Makalu to Everest is the toughest and most challenging trek in Nepal. Due to the amount of days spent over 4,500 meters as well as having three mountaineering days required to cross the high passes. However, it is well worth the effort as Makalu to Everest is one of the most scenic treks in Nepal, with superb views all the way up the Baron Valley, also known as Yosemite of Nepal. This route is the most difficult part of the Great Himalaya Trail, and many think its really big attraction are the high dangerous passes to the Everest region. East Pass, 6,100 meters. West Pass, 6,143 meters. And Ampu Lapsta, 5,845 meters. the trail from Makalubarun area. The largest of Nepal's national park and buffer zones is known for being wild and high, and has some of the most dramatic mountain scenery in the Himalaya, and go in the direction of Solukumbu, Everest region. It will be more difficult to go this way in a backward direction, because the slopes of all passes much steeper from this side. Just, a little aside, from the noisy, Everest Trail, the wild area of severe Himalaya begins. Once, in December 2011, one man has gone through three passes and made this story about it. rocky steep walls are walls of Olkhodze and more close for us in snow uh, with Khodze as a background very famous very popular uh, trekking peak island peak the altitude of highest peak of Khodze 8516 meters the altitude of island peak 6189 meters North side of Amtulapas. The trail crossing this uh, slope from right bottom to the top left, in direction just under that big stone on the top. As you can see, the highest part of this pass more steep, more dangerous, and more difficult. The groups usually prefer to go this pass from other side, south side. 
and climb down this side using fixed rope. The altitude of this pass, according to the map, 5,845 meters. The Ampulapsta connects the remote Hongo Valley with Inja Valley, a few miles south of Mount Everest. As with many futures in this region, there are various spelling to be found, including Ampulapcha and Ampulapsta. Part. Oh, sure. The final part of Amsula Pass already closed. Oh. This is the top of Amsula. Oh, I don't know how to climb it. Not part of sorry. But I need to do something. One of the key beach on the way. It's time to use my rope. A little ice, a little rock, and just easy rocky way to the top. And of course, all the way to Amstula, spectacular view of Nutsa. I am on the top of Hampshula Pass. Yesterday was enough hard day to climb here and I had enough time to come down. I decided to stay here one more night because I want to get better acclimatization and to see more this impressive panoramic view this morning. side of Amphichulapas. This ice pole permanently crushes under the sun and the correct path varies with time. The road looks like zigzag snow shelves with steep transitions from a shelf on the shelf. But it is very beautiful. As a rule, you can recognize the right path from the footsteps of previous expeditions. However, it looks like the real trail has just begun. A long way is waiting for me. Yesterday I am coming from Amphul And now I'm going to uh, West Cool Pass. Just 
half day working. I stay to lunch. And this a oh, beautiful place. I have just drank tea and fresh is really good. Fresh air, fresh water, sounds of mountain. I guess nothing more can do me more happy than I am now. I am thinking why people wanted uh, to go difficult trail, this area, backpack. Maybe it's much more better to organize comfortable camp in such a wild place. Enough food, enough entertainment. Just to live in, just to enjoy, to make short trail on the viewpoint, uh, to look around. I guess uh, this is the kind of activity of the future, of holiday activity. Uh, to stay in a good camp, in a wild nature, in the high mountain, and enjoy your life. Way is coming to the Barunza Base Camp, which is situated on the Hanko Glacier. There are no expeditions now because the season has already finished. But the life of Aborigines is in a full swing. For various reasons, before crossing West Pool, I set camp under the pass on the glacier about 50,000 meters. It is beautiful here, but as you might expect, bitterly cold once the sun goes down. frozen into blue snow.
Barunza Plata is situated on the West Barun Glacier, on the altitude about 6,000 meters. The expedition going to Barunza put here the second base camp. Way to East Pass and Makalu Mountain. And this is way to Barunza Mountain. East Cool. The last pass I need to cross. in incredible mountain scenery, with such stunning, immense glaciers and peaks, that you will wonder, why so few people venture in here. The Upper Baroon Valley, although offers stunning scenery, and is certainly, not overrun, with other trekkers. visit to Makalu is also a great opportunity to meet and learn about the ethnic groups living here, including Rai, Limbu, Sherpa, and Omi peoples. As their villages and way of life has been relatively undisturbed by outside influences. Very special wilderness values with over 3,000 species of flowering plants, including orchids and a whopping 25 species of rhododendrons. The Everest to Makalu Trek is a unique combination of wildlife, unspoiled culture, and the difficult mountain routes. And those who dare to take this challenge forward to the real adventure 